You did so good, beautiful girl. Yeah. I got back on track in the front. Rambo in the back, but back on track. Oh, yes. All right. So I was a bad YouTuber and like hardly vlogged the show, but I really didn't have that many people with me to help this time. Um, Kinsey came the first day, which is where these videos came from, but the second day it was me by myself. So here I am. This is her first show in probably two years. So she's good. She looked at stuff, but she didn't really, she didn't really seem to care about much, which is kind of what I was expecting her to be like. Um, she was just pretty excited and pretty uppity and obviously very forward with it, which is her, her normal. But I am just basically warming her up. This is the arena that we were going to show in and yeah as you can see there she gets a little excited and she wants to go. So um, basically with her like I said in my previous video it's just lots of half halts. Um, you can't really hang on her face and you can't pull back really hard because she will rear. So she's just got a very 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 sensitive mouth which is why we have her in this happy mouth hackmore bit with a three piece uh, mouthpiece and so she seems to do okay with this one um she respects it and she does have to have some sort of leverage because she is just still a very very strong forward mare so this is kind of a happy medium between the both because the hackmore she just blows right through it and um, any other bit is just too harsh for her mouth. So she's a little bit tight and a little bit tense, um, just as far as um, being in a new new place back at a show, she was just really, really, really stinking excited. And my excitement of being back at a show with her probably didn't help either, but I'm just trying to get her, <laughs> get her relaxed, stay up off her back. Um, just kind of let her find her pace and kind of go from there. But this is Saturday morning.
so this morning, um, this was Saturday morning, she schooled beautifully. She was not as strong as she normally is. Um, she was listening. I mean, she was still forward, but the previous night before this, um, I schooled and she was like barreling at everything and jumping things like psychotically. <laughs> so <laughs> I was a little bit nervous for Saturday, but this morning I was so pleasantly surprised at how relaxed she was over the fences and just in general how, um, how chill she was. She was listening. I felt in tune with her. And I, this just made me so, so excited for the day. And obviously they're getting ready for the, the two, three classes. So I don't I think these might have been two, six on some of them. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Tired. I'm doing this at like 630 in the morning. Um, I think this one might have been two, nine. Yeah. But she just effortlessly. And then I did, um, I think that was the last fence that I did. And then I called it a day and then went and untacked her. Just kidding. This is, this is a more warm up from the day. I totally uh, forgot that we did a little itty bitty course, kind of somewhat. But after this, uh, I went and tacked her up and let her, untacked her and let her hang out in the stall until it was time for our classes. I'm sorry. No, you're okay. So this is after I went back and got her and tacked her up, and this was the warm-up ring. And when I went and brought her back out, she, excuse me, every time I go on to talk, I start yawning. She was very anxious. She was super tense. She was just very, I don't know, almost agitated. I just, I, this this horse was not the horse that was the one that I was schooling the morning before. So, <clears throat> I don't know if it was the warm-up ring. I'm not 100% sure what happened. But, either way, I'm showing you the good and the bad. So, this was definitely right before our classes. And she just was not... I don't want to say she wasn't listening, but she was just uber-sensitive. Like right here, I'm trying to head her to the oxer and she pops up a little bit. I'm trying to work on some some turns just to get her listening, getting her quiet. And those ones she did okay. And I think it's this next video that she, yeah, she was just like up, down, up, <laughs> up, down, up, down. I'm like, I'm not going to take her to a fence like that. So I'm just trying to get my canner. I'm trying to get my pace, and every time I go to like look like I'm pointing her at a jump, she does like that. And so I'm like, okay, no, we're not, we're not going to be doing that. So I just I'm trying to bring her back down to the trot, and I'm just half halting, and she's just, she's just not having it. <laughs> she's just like, no, 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 no. So I don't know what happened. And maybe it could it, it could be a, a thousand different things with uh, with horses, but she I'm doing these shorter turns because she's going so forward over these fences, and it's a small arena, so I just don't want her to like run out. I get it had I don't know she just this was not the best the best warm up. Woo! So, and this carried over into our classes in the ring. She just was super anxious. Super, super anxious. <laughs> the hind end on that one. Sorry, I'm like right now. She just, way. she was very unfocused. And then she was offended when I was trying to get her to focus, I think is really what the best way to describe this whole situation was. <laughs> 
So, after these first three classes, which kind of did not go well, like I was expecting it to go like the, the schooling this morning, and it did, it was not, she knocks that one. Um, she just, she, I don't, I don't know what her problem was. I mean, she just was not, not feeling this ring, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is our first, this is our first class. And that kind of energy translated into the ring. Yep, she listened. She was kind of barreling at it, and I made her add. This one here, I think that was good, yep. <clears throat> As you can see, she's like, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not listening to you. Nope. And so I'm half halting, half halting, half halting. And she, this is where things just kind of start getting, she's just not list yet. <laughs> that was really bad. So I bring her back down, pick the canner back up, and I'm just asking her to wait. She waited on that one good, but I'm having to ride really defensively just because she's not, she's not listening at all. And then when she's not listening, then she gets super reactive and... This is why she's a hard mare to ride. <laughs> but that last jump was good. And she, here, I'm half halting, half halting, half halting, and she's not stopping. <laughs> she's just going. This is, this is why nobody wanted her. So she's bumping up and down at the beginning of this round. And... I'll show you what I did in between these these rounds. So that first one was my warm up. This is the first course of the 0 .85, 0 .95. Same thing here. She pops up, so I push her forward, and then she kind of lunges forward. And, <clears throat> and then coming around to the St. Louis Arches, she jumps that really nice. Oh, she's like, nope. <laughs> But she did wait. She just didn't do it very pretty. That one was better than that first one. And then coming around to the turn. My cat's here to say hello. That one was okay. Yep, 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 same thing here. She's like, no, I don't wanna turn. I was by the gate, I thought I was done. And then we ended good. Still, same thing. <laughs> Half halting her, trying to get her to stop, and she's like, "Nope." It, I wish you could like feel what I feel in these videos to see just how strong this mare is, but just how sensitive you have to be riding her. So this was our second round, and. That was better than that first jump that we did. That turn was better. She kind of got the hang of it, although I did catch her in the mouth there. So she got mad, so that was my fault. And that one was better. And then back around to the turn. Her rollbacks are on point. Added there, which was good. And every time you go to half halter, she pops up like this because her mouth is so sensitive. And... That jump was, eh. that one was better. This is the jump that everybody was catching rails on. Like, everybody was catching them going away, but coming home they weren't. There, and she's just going. She's like, I'm not stopping, I'm not stopping, I'm not stopping, I'm not stopping. <laughs> I'm still trying to get her to stop, and she's just not. Okay, so I think, yeah, these, okay, so after after those classes, I went and put her back in her stall, just left the saddle on, let her get a drink of water, put her in front of the fan, and then came back out. I didn't school her, I didn't do anything beforehand, this is the meter to meter 10 class, and she did phenomenal. So she's not one where you go in and want to warm up, like over those small, like, single fences. 
But this round, we were just much more in sync. She was much calmer. She was listening. And it just, it, it overall was way more together. That jump was really nice. My release is much better over these courses too. Um, as far as checking her to kind of get her to slow down, she's still she's always gonna kind of do that pop up thing. But this one I actually had to push her to get the distance. But yeah, you can see I'm really happy with that. That was a, a good round. So that was our warm up round for for that one. So I'm thinking with her, basically doing a course as a warm-up is, is kind of where where she needs to be. So, but warming up over fences is probably not the best idea. So this I was happy with. She waited. We got a really good distance to that. Did the roll back there. She's so quick on her feet. Her, like, she can stop and turn on a dime. Like, she is amazing. Yep, that one was good, too. She was careful. She kind of was charging at this one, but I made her add, and she listened, so I was happy with that. I was happy with that one, too. And yeah, she did really good over the meter to meter 10 classes. Her turns are just amazing. But yeah, she, just that like couple minutes in the stall to just reset her mind, I think really helped because I was just thrilled with how she did in the meter to meter 10 classes. Her jump is just so smooth. Yep, she wasn't listening, so I had to check her there, and she pops up. I think this was the speed and power round. I made her wait for that one because she was just... We came at that other one pretty hot, so I just did not want her to clip that rail. So I made her wait. Tried to balance her before the fence. This one, that was my fault. I was trying to make her wait, but I also kind of gave her the go-ahead, so I caught her in the mouth on that one. Going over in the picture is really funny. And yeah, that rail there, going, like everybody caught that rail going away. And that was the, the last of our rounds. Stay tuned for part two.